Hello there, welcome back. We're going to have a look at a statistics video this time that has a look at frequency histograms. Frequency histograms, we might be asked to display the following data on a frequency histogram. Now, a previous video told us how to cr construct one of these frequency distribution tables, so we won't be going through that again. You look at the previous video on frequency distribution tables if you like. But this is a uh, frequency table here. We tallied up um, all how many times each of these occurred, etc., in that previous video. But we'll just take that frequency distribution table and show, us how, show you how we can uh, draw a frequency histogram from it which is a special type of graph that we often use for statistics. Uh, it involves the number of scores across the bottom here and the number of times each of those scores occur or the frequency of each of those scores. So we have uh, the scores 2 through to 7 across here, across the bottom, and uh, the highest frequency is a 7 here, so we'll go up to 7 on our graph. We'll choose those numbers wisely there. So it's a matter of processing these into different columns here. Now the score of 2 occurred 3 times, so we'll just uh, indicate that by putting a column on the 2. Now notice we keep the score itself in the centre of the column. The label for that score needs to be in the centre of the column. Uh, to save confusion, if it was uh, between the 2 and the 3, we wouldn't be sure whether that column was referring to the 2 frequency or the 3 frequency. So anyway... That's uh, one column. Now the next uh, frequency is a, is uh, the score of three has occurs seven times, so it needs a column uh, that goes from the score of three and indicates that the frequency for that is seven. And I'm sure you'll get the hang of this. The score of four occurs twice, so it's got a column that goes up to the two on the frequency. Score of five occurs six times and the score of 6 occurs 5 times. You notice in each case here we're putting the columns right up against the column beside it before it. So that's, a, that's a, one of the features of uh, frequency histograms or any histogram really. Now this last one we are entering is the score of 7 that occurs twice. So we can see from that each of the scores and how many times they occur. Now these frequency histograms are great for finding the mode of a set of scores because the mode is the score that occurs most often or the score that's got the highest frequency. Now you can see pretty quickly that the score of 3 is the one that has the highest frequency. Now it literally has the highest column, doesn't it? So one thing that frequency histograms are good at, you can quickly identify the mode. So the mode of this score, the score that occurs the most, the score that's got the highest frequency is 3 in this, on this occasion. So it's one thing that frequency histograms are good at. Okay, just to recap, there's special features of a histogram, many of which we've stated already, but let's have a look. We have the frequency on the vertical column each time. We have the scores down the bottom on the horizontal axis. One of the other features is that we always reserve a half a column width here before we start. Uh, that's a special feature of a frequency histogram. We don't start our column right in the corner there. We leave a half a column width there. Uh, the score labels. I made a fuss about that. The score labels, the numbers there, are uh, right in the middle of the column. Don't put them on the edge because you'll, it'll get confusing which column may, uh, it belongs to which number. And also each column rests against the column beside it, so there's no gaps between the, the columns. So they're the spe special features of a histogram. Alright, that's uh, frequency histograms and uh, how we construct them. See you next time, peterblakemass.com. All the best with your studies.